Conservatives in the city of New York are freaking out right now over the fact that Mayor Bill de Blasio announced on Tuesday that they were implementing what are essentially vaccine passports. If you want to go into a restaurant, a bar, a gym, a theater, whatever it is, you need to be able to show proof of vaccination. And this is the city of New York's way of trying to get people vaccinated, trying to help slow the spread of the Delta variant, uh, which is very strong in New York, not quite as strong as it is down here in some of the Southern states, but we have idiot governors who are doing nothing to protect us. And Bill de Blasio, mayor of New York city says, I'm going to try to protect my city. And of course, Republicans are freaking out, trying to use some of the dumbest talking points imaginable to address this issue. By the way, for the record, New York is like 72% uh, with at least one dose of the vaccine. I think there's 60% with two doses of it. So they're doing well. They're, they're well above the national average on vaccinations and de Blasio wants to get them even better. Here are some of the responses on Twitter, uh, put together by the folks at Wall raw story. First, you have Joe Borelli, Trump supporting Republican and the minority whip of the New York city council said this, Mayor de Blasio is announcing that 69% of blacks, 58% of Latinos and the majority of Bronx residents are ineligible to eat in a restaurant or go to a gym. Yeah. Sounds like, uh, health services have been discriminating against people then, huh? Doesn't that, uh, that that's my big takeaway from that. If you want to break it down by race, then, then yeah, we need to do a better job taking care of minorities here in the United States, especially over there in New York, right? That's my big takeaway. JD Vance, um, running for Senate says, I can't think of any disease or pandemic in American history that prompted this level of control. And, uh, somebody was quick to point out that in the early 1900s, yes, actually New York officials did go around door to door vaccinating people. So yeah, they actually took it a little more extreme back then. Uh, then you have Dave Smith, who is a so-called comedian appears on Fox news all the time. He said this, the ruling elite in this country would have us living under a Chinese style credit, uh, social credit system right now. If they thought they could get away with it, NYC just took a major step in that direction. We need major pushback on this before it goes into effect or it might be too late. I love how you don't explain what a Chinese style credit system is, but okay. Fox news personality, Lisa Booth says, how the F does this protect people who aren't at risk from COVID? And if you are at risk and got the vaccine, then what are you worried about? Insane tyrants, NYC to mandate proof of vaccination for many indoor settings. Um, how does it protect people? Be because the more people that get vaccinated, the less likely the virus is to, to, to spread. That's, that's the point of vaccines, not just the COVID vaccine, but with every vaccine or in the case of COVID to make the symptoms less severe. How, how do you not get that? Are y'all pretending to be stupid to play to a certain audience on Twitter? Cause it's working because not one of you have come up with any kind of logical argument as to why this shouldn't take place. You can scream about tyranny all you want, but I think it's rather insane where we have a country where I, who's done everything right. I wear masks. I got vaccinated the second I was able to get vaccinated earlier this year, kept my kids out of school, send them with masks when they have had to go to, you know, uh, uh, um, grocery stores or wherever it is. So why should I allow my family to be at risk just because you don't want to play by the rules? Just because you don't want to protect yourself, even though what you're really doing is protecting everybody else around you. You want to be a selfish prick, be a selfish prick in the comfort of your own home. I have no problem with that. Whatever you choose to do behind closed doors, go for it. You know, as long as it's not, you know, killing people or other things that are going to hurt individuals. I have no problem with you doing what you do behind your closed doors. When you're out in public, you have to not only be aware of yourself, but of everyone else around you. Any action, any decision you make that could potentially impact the lives of others, suddenly that does become public policy. And by the way, legally speaking, in the instances of health, safety, and welfare, yes, the mayor of New York City would in fact have the legal authority to do this. Those are what's called police powers here in the United States. They can be exercised and they can be implemented. Conservatives can whine all they want 
But if they really want to not have to be able to do this in the future, stop encouraging people to not protect themselves.